I'm Jacob. I'm Yuri. And we're going off-roading. <laughs> Two thousand seventeen Jeep Wrangler Sahara Unlimited Chief Edition. Okay, so we did the Sahara before. Yes. But now we're doing the Chief. Yes, and we only did it on road, so we promised the people we would do it off road. Here so we, we are. Off road. So what does Chief give you? We'll get to that later. But first, two hundred and eighty-five horsepower. Yeah, feels like zero horsepower. <laughs> this is yeah. the slowest thing I've ever driven. It's a little slow. This one is manual, which is cool. But I think we actually yeah, agree yeah. that. This is the one car that you should probably get an automatic. For sure, like there's nowhere to put your left foot unless it's like back. The shifter is like, it feels like a tractor. And it's rattling the whole time. But it's fun, I love it. I actually, I love it, but I'd still prefer the automatic in this car. Yeah, so I, every car guy now hates us. I guess. <laughs> My Honda Element was faster than this. I'll admit that. Listen, Jeeping is not about going fast. That's why we're going very slow off-roading. Or cruising in a convertible. Yeah. So we've got Command Track 4x4. Is that good 4x4? It's good, it's not the best one that they have because this isn't the Rubicon. Oh. The Rubicon is for like real hard off-roading, which we're not doing today. We're doing like some pretty mild stuff. But this does have switchable 4x4, so you can go from too high to four high. Oh, nice. While you're driving. I think this thing's meant for the beach. Yeah, this Chief Edition. It's like just for the beach though. Yeah, it's like definitely. Like actually. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> so for those that don't know, the Chief Edition is a throwback to the Cherokee Chief of the 70s. I think it looks awesome. It's like, it addressed the one concern I had with the old Jeep yeah. that we reviewed, is that Which, the color sucked. Exactly, we had a gray one. So you hated the gray, but you're like, I just want this in a brighter color. Yes. Here you go. And we got a cool looking hood. Yeah, the power dome. And you can actually see it while driving, which is pretty fun. That's honestly the coolest part of driving Wait, this car. Power, power dome? It's called the power dome. Wow, what are they gonna do, fight to the death in it? <laughs> Dude, it's a good name. The audacity of Jeep <laughs> to call the hood the power dome. What are they gonna call it, the like, fun dome or something? Just call it hood. No, it's a power dome. <laughs> All right, next thing, white roof. Yes, again, chief edition thing. So did they do this first or did the FJ Cruiser do it first, the original FJ? I. I don't know which one came out first. They did it at the same time? Yeah, let's Throw just back say to that. both? Yeah, yeah. The logo looks like the Fantastic Four logo. Yeah, it's definitely a throwback again. There's a lot of suspension articulation. It's really soft off-road. It's really comfortable. On the road, with these knobby tires, it's not the best, but it doesn't really matter. You kind of wallow around. It's really floaty. This car is so loud. Jeep, this Jeep is so loud. Yeah, people got really upset in our last video when you kept calling it a car. So we should call it a Jeep now. Hey, why don't we have the doors and the roof off? Uh, Cause we're both sick. <laughs> yeah, I just got back from uh, my vacation, if you can. Yeah, that's why tell. it looks like a lobster and I look like a ghost. I haven't committed to sweaters <laughs> yet, so. Do you like my tan? Leave a comment below. Yeah, yeah. vote up here. <laughs> have you gotten out of first yet? No, I'm still in first. This is what Jeeping's about, first gear. I'm still in too high though, haven't gone to four high. Don't even need four low yet. Four lows for like really rugged stuff. We probably shouldn't attempt anything four low because we're going solo and don't have a winch. Yeah, so things you're not supposed to do <laughs> when you're going off-roading is A, go alone, and B, go alone, and C, go alone, and don't go with someone with a Wait, winch. So you're not supposed to go alone? Yeah, you're really not supposed to go alone. Kind of like backcountry skiing. Yes. <laughs> you know, I went backcountry skiing in like uh, in Nelson, BC. I didn't even know tree holes existed until like a month later. What's a tree hole? So like the snow falls on the tree, and then it stays on, on, the, on the branches. So yeah. below, there's no snow. And what happens is you snowboard and you fall into that. And when you hit the tree, the tree Everything. shakes and the snow falls on you. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. Yeah, I didn't know about that. I wouldn't, I would have died. And this is kind of sandy. This is pure sand. So if I was a surfer girl. This I, is the kind of condition you'd be driving I in. could ride my surfer girl Jeep down to the, to the beach. Yeah. Right up to the water <laughs> and catch some waves. Take off your uh, freedom top. This freedom top. <laughs> <laughs> I can take off my freedom top right now. No, please don't. All right, I'm gonna floor it a little bit faster. Oh, traction control is kicking in. Wait, how do you turn that off? There's a button right here. Okay, yeah, what are you doing traction control on? I don't need anything right now. This thing hasn't had a single problem yet. Another rule of jeeping, keep your thumbs out of the steering wheel. Oh, so if uh, a ditch catches you, it doesn't twist your arms off? Exactly, pro tips. How about tip number two, wave at everyone. Again. Yeah, wave at everybody in the Jeep, it's so fun. <laughs> it kind of, probably gets tiring after a while. No, it's fun. That's why city people don't wave back. <laughs> in the country they do, but not in the city. Yeah, get some dirt. 
<laughs> oh god. I love off-roading. Sell, I know you know this, but sell your Lexus. I kind of want to again. Every time I get out onto the trail, I just want to sell my Lexus and buy an off-road car. But you don't love off-roading that much. I do, but there's yeah. not enough trails. That's the problem. We had to drive several hours to get here today. Yeah. Nice, beautiful fall day. Yeah. In November. <laughs> <laughs> Things you encounter on the trail is mattresses. Yeah. Not that anything's been too tough yet, but I feel this is better and more comfortable than the FJ was. Yes, but... If this we is got, a 2017. If we got into the thick of it, I don't think it could handle. Like, we killed it in the FJ. Yeah, we did. Look at this clip. I don't know if this could do that. I think it can, but the problem with this is that it's not the Rubicon, so it doesn't have locking diffs. The FJ had an electronic locking diff, which was nice. But you can get it in the Jeep, you just have to get the Rubicon. Yo, check this out. I'm gonna make us go real sideways here. Oh Suspension articulation. Yo, put it in the thing that says four. Oh God. <laughs> God. <laughs> Do you know what Rubicon means? No. Rubicon Trail. I learned that from a Top Gear USA uh, episode. I did know that, actually. I suggest you watch old Top Gear USA. It was great. <laughs> not the new Top Gear America. I haven't gotten around to really enjoying that yet. No, not yet. But the Tanner Faust, the uh, Adam Ferreira, and the, uh, the other guy. Rutledge Wood. Rutledge Wood. Yeah, yeah. That was a good Top Gear. That guy's great. Yeah, yeah. You know, people people never really gave it a chance. They said, I tried it, I didn't like it, but like it didn't really kick in until like halfway through season two. No, I guess not. So, check it out. All right, we should stick to the Jeep. We gotta get to 10 minutes, man. Yeah, or exactly. We can't run double ads. <laughs> the best part of Jeeps and why they're so good off-road, departure angles and approach angles. All right, we're going the harder way, obviously. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, I'm still in too high. I haven't needed four high yet. Just put it in four. That's what four high is. Oh, you're in four? No, no, I'm still in two. I don't even need four yet. Yeah, but. It's so good. Oh, uh oh, I just said so good. <laughs> it's not as good as a Raptor. Yeah, but. I would, I'd, honestly, I, I'd ride. I love it. the I Raptor do. because you can send it here like 100K, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but this is for like slow, comfortable, relaxing off-roading. I guess. Yeah. It's for, this, is a, this is a beach bum car. Off-road people call this wheeling. Wheeling. Yeah. Wheeling. People like us call it off-roading because we don't know what we're doing. Yeah. Although, we've got a couple off-road adventures under our belts now. Oh, I'm not peeling still. Oh, yeah, you're peeling like that. Am I peeling? Ah, oh, man. Where's, okay. where's sunscreen? This this episode brought to you by Copper Tone. <laughs> and Calamine Lotion. Yeah, yeah, and Aloe Vera. <laughs> it's not actually brought to you by Copper Tone. No. All right, we're going to go to four high. Boom, four high. That's it. While driving? Yeah. Nice. It's really manly shifter too. You really got to jam it in there. Manly shifting for a girly Jeep. <laughs> in this color, it's a bit girly, but you still feel like a badass when you're driving it because of this hood. I think this is cool. I like that it's a girly color. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, ground clearance. Perfect. <laughs> okay. I'm yes, Jeeping. I'm not, uh... I don't think my Honda Element could do this. No, not a chance. <laughs> you know what I love so much about Jeeps? What? How simple they are. It's just such a simple truck, <laughs> SUV. I'm not gonna call it a car because people are gonna get upset. So it's kind of like the Miata? Yeah, kind of. Jeep and Miata are the same thing. It's simple, mechanical. People are gonna get upset because we compare it to that, but it's good. I like that, that's a good comparison. Thumbs out. Oh yes, yeah. send it, send it. <laughs> I love Jeeping. <laughs> If you're wondering why all the footage is muddy. Yeah, sorry about that. But also you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> all right, before I let you drive this, because I want to keep driving, yeah. we're going to have to pull over and look at what makes this a chief edition. I'm down, let's stop. All right. Not in a ditch though. Okay, just right here. <laughs> Suspension articulation, check this out. Every wheel is touching the ground. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this. No problem, look at that. That's amazing. That's what suspension articulation is, and that's why people buy Jeeps. Look at this, it's not even touching the ground, all that ground clearance. Low overhangs, that's the key. Look at this wheel. This is my favorite one, check this out. Look at all that travel, no problem. All right, back to the looks. Oh yeah, okay. Chief edition, black, black. You got these nice covers. White roof. Yep. 
Uh, we've got these decals. We've got a chief badge right there. White decals here, if you can see that. They were white at one point. The wheels. You get different wheels, the chief edition. Better than the Sahara ones. These grill inserts are different. You can't really tell right now, but they're silver. Different. And because it's the Sahara, this is body colored. This is silver. That's also different. Got nice fog lights. LED headlights and fog lights. And my favorite part, the power dome hood. Look at that, it even holds mud and water. <laughs> Works great. Looks so good though. SG. Yeah, look at these vents. Back to the trail? No, not yet, check this out. Skid plates. That's what it's about. So when you're bashing stuff underneath rocks, you save your gas tank, you save your transmission, you save everything. All right, All right. I think it's time for you to drive. Let me do it. Ah. This has the radio controls behind the steering wheel. Yes. Which I love. You can go through channels and bookmarks and volume and mute all on the back. Yeah, it's actually really good. I it do like it. The best steering wheel volume controls ever, paired with the worst infotainment of all time. <laughs> this is true. The infotainment is so bad, but this is a 2017 and they just announced the 2018 and they fixed it completely. Yeah, and changed everything about the Jeep. Yes. The windshield folds down super easy now. So, infotainment almost impossible to pair your phone. We couldn't pair our phones, Android and Apple. My friend did pair it with his Android phone, so I don't know what's going on there, but you have to do everything with your voice and it takes forever. It's so difficult. Not about it. No, but the radio controls are very simple, which I like, so if you just wanna to listen to the radio, it's great. And it's got an Alpine system, which actually sounds incredible. So if you had all the doors off, you could just blast it at the beach. It'd be perfect. At the beach. Yeah. All right, Yuri, send it through this mud pit. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Rest in peace, GoPro. Jeeping is the best, isn't it? This is, this is pretty fun. Yeah. Isn't this so much better than our on-road jeeping? Yeah, but the doors aren't off. I, I don't know, I really You know like... how dirty we'd be and cold and freezing and sick again? But I really like doors off. Yeah, I mean, it's so much cooler, but... We admit to being soft for not taking everything off. Yeah, sorry, In this, for this November one. review. <laughs> oh, what? It comes with energy drink. Uh, I don't think it comes with It's that. a Jeep thing. <laughs> it's got a special design place to put your monster stickers. <laughs> And it comes with a nice sunglass holder front and center for your white Oakley gas cans. Yes. It's not really a holder, it's more of a placement it's compartment. It's for white Oakley gas cans. <laughs> What's wrong with Oakley gas cans? White Oakley gas cans. If you don't, if you need to ask, I can't help you. <laughs> These seats are comfortable. I've always liked the Jeep seats. Yeah, they're so good for off-roading. Black leather though. I like that it. That thing's probably gonna get so hot with the top down. Yeah, I guess. And in the Chief Edition interior, you also get this thing to remind you that you're in the Chief right here, your grab handle. You also get some silver accents on the steering wheel and around the vents. Yeah, I like how much a uh, blue body panel you can see in the car. Yeah, Chief Blue. In the Jeep, <laughs> not the car, it's not a car. No, it's not a car, it's a Jeep. I apologize. The back seats are pretty roomy, but the trunk space, because this has the additional soft top that you can also put on when you take off the hard top, takes up a lot of trunk space. It's a little bit annoying. We do also have heated seats, which is nice. Although they work a little bit slow, still heat your butt, perfect. Yeah, so I guess besides this being a slow Jeep with a stick shift that I don't like. It's great. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's very tractor-like to drive. It's got the precision of a tractor, but I like tractors, so. Yeah, if you're, uh, <laughs> if you're looking for a Jeep, this is definitely the coolest looking one that's not 2018. Yeah, a lot of people actually came up to me when I had this Jeep for the week and they're like, yo, is that yours? I'm like, no, sorry, man. But I wish it was. <laughs> Jeep or FJ? I really like the Jeeps, man. I feel like the Jeep is so much more capable than the FJ. That's what it just feels like to me right now. I know they don't make the FJ anymore. We gotta do a head to head. Yeah. No, a brand head to head to head. We're not allowed to say that word. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> we gotta call someone to get permission. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mattress obstacle. Oh. Uh, Got it right around that mattress. Yeah. No problem there. There's a lot of plastic trim everywhere, but it's easy to clean, so when you go wheeling with the doors off, perfect wheeling. However, you know what else is plastic? The visors. Oh, Speaking of the visors, visor test. Three, two, one. Yes, uh -huh. Jeep. Great job. So just a quick reminder for the guys who haven't seen our old video, link here. This has two freedom tops, that's what the T-tops are called. Yes. And the roof 
It's very easy to remove if you do it properly. Yes, take it from the back. Yeah, we show in the video how to do it properly and incorrectly. Yes, definitely go the correct way. Yeah. I can't get over how comfortable this is to off-road. Like, I, I feel like I'm driving a regular car on a road. This is surprisingly comfortable driving off-road. Yeah. I approve. Not that that means anything. No, no, loading. I do approve though. <laughs> Not that that means anything either <laughs> until you saw your Lexus. Yeah, I took a Ford Explorer in Bahamas and those roads destroyed the Ford Explorer. I wish I had this. Oh yeah. Except the weird thing about Bahamas, story time, you drive on the left side of the road. In right hand drive cars. Right hand and left hand drive. Yes. So it makes it like super tricky. You don't know if you're gonna be passenger incoming or not. That's true. I've been in, I've been to the Bahamas once. And there are more potholes than you can imagine. And like, oh yeah. I'm not talking like potholes, like the whole road is just potholes. Yeah, pretty much. It is, I'm, like it's all potholes. <laughs> Unless like a, an, an ambassador comes from another country, then they repave the, the road from the airport to their resort. No, I went to a nicer resort, so it was all nice. Oh, I was on like the, the island islands. Like we had to fly in private planes to get there, like oh. four person planes. We yeah, had pilot not... Mike. This guy, Mike, this guy rolled up. He was going down the runway with a door open and his leg out. <laughs> right before he took off. And then he closed the door and we took off. Oh my God. This actually happened. So if you want to go off-roading slowly, not at 100 kilometers an hour like a Raptor, you buy a Jeep. If you're a beach babe or a beach dude. Chief edition. I highly recommend this color. <laughs> yeah. It's bright enough for Yuri. You get a lot of decals, the appropriate amount. I'm going to go with best looking colored Jeep. Yeah, okay. I'll, if you go lime green, it's a little too extreme. Yeah. But lime green, you'd have to get the black hardtop. Exactly. Yeah. So this is a nice throwback. Bye, Jeep. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Yuri. I'm Jacob. And we're going for a drive. This is a subscription break. Don't forget subscribe. to subscribe. Subscribe right now. Subscribe. We didn't even... We didn't do that.